Hi, I'm Carolina, a customer engineer on the Chrome Browser Enterprise team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to leverage our cloud reporting capabilities so that you can get a better understanding of your browser estate. Chrome Browser Cloud Management lives within the Google Admin Console, and it allows you to manage browsers in our Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iPad and iOS environments from a single location. To enroll your browser, you just need to go to Chrome, Manage Browsers, and select the organizational unit you wish to enroll your browsers in. You can enroll browsers with the help of Group Policy, your preferred management solution, or directly on the machine. To see your browser's reports, you need to make sure you have enabled cloud reporting. To do so, navigate to Devices, Chrome, Settings, Users and Browsers, and once again, select the OU you want to work with. Search for Reporting and click Enable Managed Browser Cloud Reporting. Chrome Browser Cloud Management offers three unique reports, the Browser Details Report, the Version Report, and the Apps and Extensions Report. Let's dive into what these look like. First, the Browser Details Report. Once you have started enrolling your browsers and enable reporting to your, your organizational unit, in the Admin Console, navigate to Chrome, Manage Browsers, and select the OU you want to explore. In our case, we are going to look at the browsers enrolled under the Algonquin OU. You can see that there are six browsers under this OU. You can see the name of the machine that the browser is on, the browser version, the date and time of the most recent interaction between the managed Chrome browser and Google servers, the number of extensions installed, the number of policies configured, and the OS version. If you click on one of the browsers for more details, let's say desktop 8BBUG7, you can see it has a pending update. On the top of the browser details page, you'll see information about the machine where the browser is installed. Things like machine name, machine user, enrollment date, OS version, architecture, machine policies, serial number, and device ID. Right under the machine information card, you get the browsers and profiles card. As you may know, depending on your organization's policy, you can have different Chrome browser channels running side by side in the same machine. You can also sign in into the Chrome browser with different users. For our machine, we can see that we have both Canary and Stable channels running. For the Canary channel, we can see we have two profiles signed in. For the Stable channel, only one. We can see the location of the Chrome browser file the channel, the installed version, if there's a version of Chrome browser that will be installed on restart, the last recorded date and time that Chrome browser sent a status update to the admin console, and the number of profiles set up. If you expand the table, we get profile name, the user, the directory, the last recorded date and time that the browser sent a report to the admin console, the last recorded date and time that the browser synchronized with policy settings, the number of profile policies, and finally, the number of extensions installed. The second report is the version report. In the Admin Console, if you navigate to Chrome, Reports, and click on Versions, you'll see the version report. The version report allows IT admins to easily see all the versions, including minor versions of Chrome, in their deployment. You can see different browser versions in your organizations across different operating systems. You also want to take into account the different channels your users might be running Chrome on. As an example, you can see that for our Algonquin OU, we have two browsers running 105, a macOS device running 105 in the stable channel, and a Windows device running 105 in the Canary channel. This report supports compliance and remediation efforts and helps IT teams have more visibility than ever into their Chrome deployments. The last report available in Chrome Browser Cloud Management is the Apps and Extensions report. In the Reports section, click on Apps and Extension. You can quickly get an idea of every single app and extension in use within your organization. You can also search for a specific app and extension by searching for the number of permissions. You can see the name of your app or extension, see the number of installations, the number of permissions required, and even the manifest version. And let's say you want to drill down into a specific extension. For example, the Endpoint Verification extension. You can see the installation policy or set one. In the Details card, you can get general information of the extension, ID, Chrome Web Store listing, when it was first published, when it was updated, and more. You can see the permissions this extension requires to function and the URLs it needs to access. 
You can also see the browsers that have this extension installed if there were any. And finally, if there are any requests for this specific extension. And there you have it, free reports from Chrome Browser Cloud Management that can provide you with valuable information and the visibility you need to make data-driven decisions and keep your organization safe. To learn more on this topic, check out our website or get in touch with an expert. We hope to connect soon. Happy browsing.